Welcome to the lodge. This is Johnny teaching everybody how to load up or who doesn't know how to load up a, a percolator coffee maker. Camp percolator, I forget what they're called, but something like that. Um, anyways, you grab your percolator. And you, I like putting a, a little, um, like a, uh, what do you call that? Coffee filter. Coffee filter. I'm really tired. I haven't had zero sleep for like a day. Yeah, like we were, we were pumped to get here, okay? <laughs> but anyway. So okay. So you put that in, and then you get your coffee. That. Okay. We we brought everything in like um, plastic bags because they were faster and easier to use up Where's and. The um, that's well, a good question. A spoon. I can use a spoon. A tablespoon? Yes. Okay, so a tablespoon. There's no real measurement. You just kind of. Don't make it real strong, though, because I'll be like wired. <laughs> like I'm not already, right? Okay. And then you put this lid guy on there. And seal it in. And see this? Put the water right up to the top of that, right up to that spout. Oh, this is kind of weird. It's, I think okay, well, show us the water after you put it in. It's, it's a little different than ours. I think you put it up to there. Okay. Each of these bottles, bottled water, they hold two cups. And this lodge we're at, they. Oh. In a coffee maker. Three bottles is ten cups. So this is what he does with um, the plastic bottles. And they don't blow away out of your blue box, I guess. Oh, you don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. It doesn't, hold. <laughs> it doesn't, um, it doesn't take up as much room in your True. blue box. True. Right on. And then and you put that in there like so. Mm-hmm. And you boil, I think I've got too much water, but I don't know. Six cups anyway. So it's all ready to go for the morning. Just like that. Awesome. Well thank you very much. We'll check that out in the morning and see how it is. And because we're Canadian, we use Timmy's coffee. <laughs> we're we're splurging. <laughs> We're on holiday, right? <laughs> anyway, we'll talk to you guys in a bit. Son of a Sally Wagon. Johnny's trying to swear again. <laughs> Probably saw that on one of the other Here's videos. Our camp. Here's where we're staying. This is Kippewa Lodge on Lake Kippewa. Here's our cabin right there. And our friend's cabin is right here. And this is the main lodge. It's a beautiful place. Yeah, people have been catching pickerel off this dock every morning and every evening. Keepers. There is a slot size here. It's a pretty big lake. It's beautiful. You hardly see any buildings on it at all. It's pretty private. It's a nice little cove area they have here. And you can get a, a boat with the rental of your cottage.
constantly working around here. Seem to always be doing maintenance on the buildings and uh, running boats. <laughs> Here's the solar power. And a bit of a garden with sunflowers and tomatoes and looks like cucumbers, beans, pod peas by the looks of it, radishes. They have a compost here. Look at all the flies. Whew. Look down to the docks. Can you see some movement in that little shed over there? That's the fish cleaning shack. So, we'll just go down and see how John's making out. In the meantime, there's some renovation work going on in here. Not sure what. Hi! <laughs> some renovation work going on in there. Yeah. But yeah, this is the uh, fish shack where you clean your fish. So. We'll go in there together, shall we? Look, there's more boats here. Little gazebo area. Was a place to have a barbecue together. Wow, look at the burls on those pine trees. Wow. Fish hut. <laughs> Not, not the same kind of fish hut we're used to, though, is it? Okay, here's John cleaning a pickle. I gotta keep the uh, door shut here. Here's your catch in possession length limits. Yep. Yeah. And... Barely legal. <laughs> Barely legal. Yep. Like 15, 15 and a half, 16. <laughs> but there, oh, oh. there's a nice little cheater board here. And yeah, John's cleaning some nice pickerel fillets. Looks like other people have done the same thing here. And uh, for those fishing fish cleaning challenge. They have a board here. Put your board on and hang on to your fish while you clean it. John's taking out the pickerel cheeks. Tell us why, John. Those are uh, freshwater scallops. Like freshwater scallops. Look at that. But they're kind of small. They are kind of small. small. Fish. Just but I thought, you know, for the made the limit. 15 inches. Well, they have to be 14 and a half. Yeah, I know. But it says... You just do that for they're going to be really nice. They're blue pickerel, eh? Yeah. They're blue pickerel. I'm not sure if you can see the color on them, but uh, yeah, pretty amazing. Now, if you really want to see how to clean a fish, go back a few videos last winter of 2019 and you'll see John cleaning a white fish. It's the same sort of principle, really. These ones are a little easier. They're a little easier than a white fish? Yeah. Hmm. I hope you're not too squeamish, but there's the aim product. I'm looking forward to eating those, for sure. <laughs> okay, we'll see you on the next scene. Okay.